Container trucks parked at Busan's new port. The port is home to South Korea's troubled Hanjin shipping. As the once dominant container shipper looks increasingly likely to face liquidation, the stacks of empty containers here keep growing. The downfall of the country's largest container shipper is having ripple effects here in Busan port. This terminal's main client is Hanjin Shipping, and they've seen a 60 percent dip in cargo volume since Hanjin filed for bankruptcy protection back in August. Last week, Hanjin issued a 30-day layoff notice to 560 of its South Korean shipping crew members. Analysts say it could be just the beginning for South Korea's shipping industry. Hanjin is saddled with more than $5 billion worth of debt, and it's been forced to sell major assets to pay it off. The Korean Maritime Institute estimates as many as 11,000 workers serving the country's shipping industry could lose their jobs. The global network that Hanjin Shipping has, especially the Asia-U.S. route, will all disappear. So we're facing a risk of losing South Korea's marine network. It's a huge crisis for a country that wants to become a maritime power. Hanjin's fleet has dwindled to about a tenth of its pre-bankruptcy size, and some of its remaining vessels are still out at sea, where crew members' jobs are at least temporarily protected. Under South Korean law, workers cannot be laid off until they disembark. I got a certain text from the master of Hanjin Long yesterday and today. Yes, a uh, crew member of Hanjin Long have a still paint hope. Yes, company will be survive or revive. But that looks unlikely. Seoul's Central District Court on Monday picked South Korea's Korea Line as the preferred bidder to acquire Hanjin's Asia-U.S. operations and a stake in the Long Beach Terminal in California, beating out Hyundai Merchant Marine. The judge said Korea Line proposed better terms, including an offer to take on more Hanjin employees, though the total number remains unclear. Eugene Jung for CCTV, Busan, South Korea.